Find all angles in the domain where theta is between 0 and 2 pi that satisfy the given equation. Write the general solution. In part a, we'll solve sine theta equals root 3 over 2 using the unit circle. Bring up the unit circle. Sine theta equals root 3 over 2 can be paraphrased as which angles correspond to a y coordinate of root 3 over 2? Draw the line y equals root 3 over 2 and highlight the points of intersection. The answer is theta equals pi over 3 and 2 pi over 3. The solution we just found is for an angle between 0 and 2 pi. In the general solution, we need to account for all coterminal angles. If we start at pi over 3 and rotate counterclockwise, we get coterminal angles at 7 pi over 3 and 13 pi over 3. The first part of the general solution is theta equals pi over 3 plus n times 2 pi, where n belongs to the set of integers. Now position the terminal arm at 2 pi over 3. If we start at 2 pi over 3 and rotate counterclockwise, we get coterminal angles at 8 pi over 3 and 14 pi over 3. The second part of the general solution is theta equals 2 pi over 3 plus n times 2 pi, where n belongs to the set of integers. We have now found the specific solution for the domain where theta is between 0 and 2 pi, and the general solution for all real numbers. In part b, we'll solve cos theta equals negative 1 over 2 using the unit circle. Bring up the unit circle. Cos theta equals negative 1 over 2 can be paraphrased as which angles correspond to an x coordinate of negative 1 over 2? Draw the line x equals negative 1 over 2 and highlight the points of intersection. The answer is theta equals 2 pi over 3 and 4 pi over 3. The solution we just found is for an angle between 0 and 2 pi. In the general solution, we need to account for all coterminal angles. If we start at 2 pi over 3 and rotate counterclockwise, we get coterminal angles at 8 pi over 3 and 14 pi over 3. The first part of the general solution is theta equals 2 pi over 3 plus n times 2 pi, where n belongs to the set of integers. Now position the terminal arm at 4 pi over 3. If we start at 4 pi over 3 and rotate counterclockwise, we get coterminal angles at 10 pi over 3 and 16 pi over 3. The second part of the general solution is theta equals 4 pi over 3 plus n times 2 pi, where n belongs to the set of integers. We have now found the specific solution for the domain where theta is between 0 and 2 pi, and the general solution for all real numbers. In part c, we'll solve tan theta equals 0 using the unit circle. Bring up the unit circle. Recall that tan theta equals sine theta over cos theta.
tan theta equals zero in the numerator, sine theta is zero. Draw the line y equals zero and highlight the intersection points with the unit circle. The solution is theta equals zero, pi, and two pi for the domain where theta is between zero and two pi. In the general solution, we need to account for all coterminal angles. In this example, the solutions are a half rotation apart. This means we only need one equation for the general solution. The general solution is theta equals n pi, where n belongs to the set of integers. We have now found the specific solution for the domain where theta is between 0 and 2 pi, and the general solution for all real numbers. In part d, we'll solve tan squared theta equals 1 using the unit circle. Before we solve for theta, we need to square root both sides of the equation. This gives us tan theta equals positive or negative 1. Recall that tan theta equals sine theta over cos theta. tan theta equals positive or negative 1 when both sine theta and cos theta have the same magnitude. The answer is theta equals pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, and 7 pi over 4 for the domain where theta is between 0 and 2 pi. In this example, the solutions are a quarter rotation apart. This means we only need one equation for the general solution. The general solution is theta equals pi over 4 plus n times pi over 2, where n belongs to the set of integers. We have now found the specific solution for the domain where theta is between 0 and 2 pi, and the general solution for all real numbers.